Hello and Happy New Year. I'm Katie from Made by Kate and I am a Love Notions ambassador. You can find me on Instagram or on my blog and I will link those below. On this video, I get to talk about two of my favorite things. Number one, a sale and number two, sewing dresses. Let's talk about the sale first. This week, Monday through Friday, all Love Notions patterns are 30% off. This is the only 30% off site-wide sale of the year, so it's the perfect time to stock up, especially if you have some New Year's resolutions. I highly recommend checking out some of the new releases from this last year, including the Legato jeans, which are my favorite, uh, Aria button down, Lincoln top, and so many other great patterns. One of my favorite things about Love Notions patterns is how classic they are. The aesthetic has so many staple pieces that give you options for changing them up just a little bit to suit your particular style. I love looking for design inspiration um, on Pinterest or in stores and looking and saying, oh, I could use this pattern or this pattern to make that. There's always a Love Notions pattern that I can change up just a little bit to get the exact look I want. It's especially helpful for my teenage daughter who's going to dances and wanting to dress up a little more. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the Love Notions dress patterns and show you how easy it is to dress up with Love Notions. Maybe pattern hacking isn't your thing, but there are a few easy things you can do to dress up any pattern. Um, things like adding accessories, adding length, changing up the sleeve or putting in a dramatic sleeve. Fabric choice plays a huge role. All those things I'm gonna talk about as we go through some of the different Love Notions patterns. First up, let's talk about the Rhapsody. This year, instead of making Christmas pajamas, I made Christmas dresses for me and my two daughters. It was super fun, a little stressful, but they turned out amazing and just how I wanted. I chose the Rhapsody for myself. The Rhapsody is such a great dress for dressing up. There's so many things you can do with it to get the look you want. I noticed an ad circulating through my social media for a particular dress from Anthropology that had um, elastic channels in at the waist. And it had the gathered here at the sleeves, kind of like the Rhapsody does at the yoke, and was a maxi length. I looked at it and thought, I can use the Rhapsody to create that look. Now, my husband actually bought me a dress for my birthday that had the elastic channels in it. And when I tried it on, I realized that for my style, I wanted it a little bit different, which is one of the best things about sewing. We can change things up to get them how we want them. So I borrowed the technique of using elastic channels from the Tempo Sundress and transferred that into the waistline of the Rhapsody dress. I'll go into depth on all of the hacks I did for my Christmas dresses on my blog, and I will link those below. So I added elastic channeling at the waist, lengthened it. Length is a great way to add drama to a dress pattern. Um, for this one, I lengthened, I straightened out the hem, lengthened it, and then added just a 12 inch ruffle at the bottom to get that maxi look. Super simple, not a scary hack to do. Great way to start if you're just starting to hack patterns. The pattern already included the bishop sleeve that I wanted um, and had the, the um, back yoke. Now the, the pattern calls for a box pleat. I just added gathers. That was the look that I was going for. I love how it turned out. The Rhapsody is, like I said, super versatile. My mom made herself a Rhapsody for my sister's wedding. There's a whole post about all the Love Notions patterns we used for my sister's wedding, and I'll link that as well. But it was a fabulous mother of the bride dress. This is an example where fabric choice really makes a big difference. She used a rayon chalet that was really drapey, beautiful color, solid, um, and just gave that nice mother of the bride look, but was super comfortable. Um, I've made a few Rhapsodies into maxi dresses. It's my favorite thing to do, and I always get compliments on them. The next pattern I'm going to talk about is the Cadence. Cadence is such a great staple because it's just a straight shift dress. It's got the bust start, the round neck, and tons of sleeve options. So my daughter sent, is always sending me pictures of dresses that she wants to recreate. And she sent me one that looked almost identical to the Cadence. And then she sent me a couple more and said, but I want it to have this and this and this. So using the cadence as our base, I added those few design elements to it and it turned out amazing. Um, we added gathers to the neckline. And again, I'll show you how to do that um, if you wanna check out my blog. Uh, by moving the bust fullness to the neck, 
So there was no bust start, but we had the gathers at the neck and that gave the ease that it needed for the bust. Then she wanted it to have a little flare. So we added the width. I just graded out to a bigger size for the width. Um, I raised the neckline and added a ruffle and then she wanted a dramatic sleeve. So this is a really easy way to kind of add um, a little pizzazz to your make. So to make the bigger sleeve, we added in some gathering at the sleeve cap and then added width at the bottom and um, to the wristband cuff. It turned out so elegant and so pretty. Just the dra drama that she wanted. We also added a belt. Another easy way to add some shape. Um, we added a two inch belt that just kind of cinched it in at her waist and made her feel um, fun. The back, because we raised the neck, we had to add a little keyhole button again used a fancy button and it really elevated the look of the dress for the fabric for all three of these dresses i'm talking about first i used a drapey swiss dot that i got from raspberry creek fabrics when you find a good drapey fabric it can really make a difference because it's not too clingy it's not too see-through but it has just that texture and um i think we all have two dresses out of this fabric now in fact you'll see it several times um on this video my younger daughter had a couple requests for her Christmas dress too. She wanted it maxi length. We live where it's cold, and so my girls love the long dresses in the winter time. So my older daughter wanted short this year. Um, she wanted it to be have a ruffle at the bottom, and she wanted a long sleeve that was kind of fancy. That was her request. I never made the Dolce pattern, so this was my first time. It worked out so good for this pattern. So again, super easy to add length. I just added a couple inches and added the ruffle to the bottom. And then for the sleeve, it already comes with a puff sleeve, but it's a short sleeve. So all I had to do was lengthen that sleeve to get that bishop, that bishop length sleeve with the, the flare and the elastic cup at the wrist. Such an easy way to add a little fancy, fancy level. Now, she also wanted that ruffling at the neckline. And I've got a YouTube video on how to do that to any pattern um, on the Love Notions channel, but I'll link it below. So we added the ruffle and raised the neckline because she didn't want it to come too low. So we raised the neckline and added that little ruffle. So all I needed to do was add an extra button um, to make so that it, they were close enough together to get in and out. And she had a super elegant, easy dress. The gathers in the back already built in and they were so pretty. Um, she actually played her violin for our Sunday Christmas service and she looked so elegant up there with that big sleeve playing her violin. So. It's easy to add, use kids' patterns and give them that little fancy factor as well. While we're talking about little girls' dresses, I'm gonna throw in a couple other ideas for just easy ways to use Love Notions patterns to up the dress level. Um, the skater skirt is a free pattern on the website and it is such a great classic piece right now. It's really similar to the A-Line Civil Skirt for women. Um, so I made one for my daughter out of velvet. Fabric choice here is what elevates this look. You can make it out of so many different fabrics depending on the look you're going for. So we used a pink velvet and then added a classic tee with it in a rib um, v-neck style. And it's just the cutest little outfit that she feels amazing in. It's super comfortable and it took me under an hour to make. So you don't have to think too hard to kind of make a fancy dress look look for what you want look for styles that you like and add the incorporate those into what you're making you can also use the skater skirt and add the Maggie top for a dress a really easy quick simple dress made out of velvet or um, a drapey a drapey knit or a sweater knit you can really change the look but really dress up the pattern I mentioned you'll see the Swiss dot everywhere. We made my daughter a tempo out of the light blue Swiss dot earlier this year when the girl's tempo released. She loves it. It has pockets, it's swishy, it's flirty and fun. Um, she wears a shirt under it, so it's more like a jumper and it has quickly become one of her favorite dresses. You can also use the women's tempo and change it up really easily. I've added a ruffle to the sleeve. I've added, um, I've shortened it and added a, a ruffle for my older daughter. I'll post that here. Lots of ways to change up the tempo um, to make it your own. But my favorite thing I did with the tempo was my daughter's homecoming dress. She brought me a picture of a dress she wanted for homecoming and I looked at it and I went, oh, we can do this with the tempo. So easy. So 
her inspiration was this. And then we just added, I just took the pattern and did a, made a few changes to get exactly what she wanted. We added a ruffle sleeve, we added a tiered skirt, and um, that was it. She wanted the shearing in the back, which turned out so pretty. And we were able to take her inspiration and make it to fit her body perfectly. And she felt like a million bucks. The biggest thing is nobody else had the same dress as her. That's the challenge is everyone's shopping the same places and she knows she's gonna have something totally unique. She gets to pick the color and she gets to, it fits her perfectly, which is such a huge mom win. Speaking of dresses for dances, the Tessa is another dress that is such, so elegant and easy to um, make your own. So for the Christmas dance last year, she wanted something black. She wanted a, a big sleeve. Um, so when I showed her the Tessa, she was like, no. So I made it anyway and she loved it. We used the Arlington sleeve to create um, the sleeve look that she wanted. And then instead of putting a cuff on it, we just did a folder over elastic band. Swapping out different design elements for different um, patterns is so simple. There's a post on the blog about how to swap sleeves if you just change the arm side or, or different things like that. So adding the Arlington to the Tessa was super simple, easy dress to make, but the wow factor was huge. She got so many compliments. We used a sheer fabric, um, a sheer stretchy fabric for the sleeves and then just a black ponte and it's so sleek so classic so elegant um, she was so comfortable when it fits well you feel confident you feel comfortable my daughter my younger daughter loved her Tessa so much so we made her the Prisma which is a great um, has multiple options but we use the sheath dress of the Prisma and this is where fabric again gave it the wow factor. We used a navy blue stretch lace, and just layered it over um, a knit, and it's so pretty, so elegant. She feels amazing, she feels fancy, but it's comfortable. Um, so the Prisma is a, has great options for changing things up and, and adding, adding a little extra. Another new release this year is the Salt Whistle. I love this pattern so much, I've already made four. Two for me and two for my daughter. Um, the first one I made in testing and used more Swiss dot because I'm obsessed with it in white. I needed a dress for our family pictures and it just worked out perfectly. I did change. The only change I made to that was I didn't add the elastic in the bottom of the short sleeve. It gives it just a nice puff flutter sleeve, which is so fun to wear. Um, and it's again, super comfortable. I think it's important to feel comfortable in dresses that we wear, especially when we're dressing up because if we're worried about where things are sliding or not, then we don't have fun. Um, but I have loved wearing this salt whistle dress. I loved it so much, I knew I wanted a fall version. So for my fall version, I just extended it into a maxi skirt. I did a tiered maxi skirt, um, added on to the three quarter sleeve, um, but I did the puff three quarter sleeve and it is a fantastic fall dress. I even added pockets, which are the best part. Um, you adding tiers is a, is another way to kind of up a skirt pattern, you know, make it a little flirty or, or fun, kind of give it that, gives it that swish. So I used a stretch rayon crepe for that one. All the details for these makes that I'm talking about are also on my blog. The two others I made for my daughter and for hers, we used the flutter sleeve. So here's the tempo with three different sleeves and it just gives them all a little different look. You would never guess that I have four of the same dress because they all look so different, but I use the same pattern and the same basics of that pattern. For the two for my daughter, she did not want the elastic in the waist, so we left it out and just um, added the skirt on it the, uh, with, with a ruffle, with a tiered um, skirt at the bottom. She didn't want it straight, so we just added the tiered. Fabric here, again, plays a huge role between one out of double gauze and out of stretch mesh totally different dresses, totally different looks, but super cute, super fun. Um, here's another tip. The Luna makes a great slip. It's a, the nighty pattern. I've made multiple slips for my younger daughter and my older daughter, um, just out of like ITY or um, a lightweight modal or something like that, just for another layer or when you want, you know, when you have something sheer, you want to cover it. It's a fantastic pattern, both the tank and the slip. For wearing under those so um, check out that pattern as well the Sybil skirt pattern is the best bang for your buck 
because it comes with so many options. I use the Sybil um, A-line skirt and paired it with an Arlington out of velvet for just to level it up a bit. I wore it for Christmas last year and got so many compliments because it was super, again, comfortable, easy, but so um, elegant with the different options in the Sybil and the different ways you can pair it, mash it with different tops. You can add the, um, the Margot Peplum, um, pair it with any of the blouse um, patterns, the ballad blouse, Aria, or the Melody Dolman, all such great options to pair with one of those skirts, depending on, on the look you're going for. Lyric is another pattern that I've changed a lot and used um, lots of different ways. So I have multiple lyrics and they all look different. One of my favorite ways is to make it a maxi, of course, I love a good maxi dress. Um, and just adding length, all you need to do is decide how much length you want and where you wanna add it. If you're gonna add it to the bottom, you're gonna get more of the swing of, of the shape, or you can add it in different places you can add a little bit at the hip you can add a little bit at the knee and then a little bit of length just to so it doesn't depending on if you want it more full or less full um, i also slimmed down the lyric and made a jumper for my daughter made it the sleeveless version and, and made her a winter jumper out of some fine wheel corduroy fabric choice again we slimmed down the sides to give it more of a straight skirt look and um, I've got all the details on how I did that one on my blog. And last but certainly not least, the Sonata is another fantastic dress. This is one that I've made for my sisters. I have several in my closet because it's so flattering, so easy to make. You can make it out of so many different fabrics. My favorite fabric to make it out of is Rayon Chalet because it's just so drapey, but it's also a pattern that can be made out of quilting cotton. Um, or a, a more um, stiff cotton. Again, depending on what look you want, it has the exposed facing or, or non-exposed. It's got the elastic shaping at the back, so you can really shape it to your body. And it comes with four cup sizes, so it's a great pattern for making sure to fit your body. I've got a blog post on the Love Notions blog with nine simple hacks you can do to change up that pattern. Um, and those hacks apply across the board to so many of the patterns in the Love Notions catalog. So hopefully I've given you some good ideas on how you can dress up with Love Notions. There are so many fantastic patterns in the Love Notions library. I mentioned I made dresses for my sister's wedding. Um, be sure to check out that post. We use the Laundry Day Tees and Everyday Play Dress for all the nieces and they look darling. And we use the Harmony Blouse to make my sister's wedding dress. Um, there's so many ways that you can use these patterns to make your vision come to life. Don't be afraid to try. Sometimes I hack a pattern and it doesn't work and it's like, well, now I know. Um, but as you get practice, you get more confident and you, you're you able better to uh, create the look that you want that fits, is comfortable, and looks amazing. Like I said, the Love Notions library is full of great lines, classic pieces that you can make work for you. Be sure to check out the 30% off sale this week um, my affiliate link is below and I'd love if you checked out my Instagram and blog as well. Happy New Year.